So can Reaper do that? That is the question of today. And today we're going to take a look at Cubase's Spectral Comparison EQ. Can Reaper do that? Super C. Hey everyone, Per C Jules is my name. Welcome, welcome to Super C. Um, so today we're going to talk about the Spectral Comparison EQ by Cubase. Now, first let me say that Cubase, the latest version of Cubase Pro, so 10.5, was released not too long ago, so November 2019, I believe. Um, they introduced a few new features, and one of those features is what they call the Spectral Comparison EQ. Now, what is the Spectral Comparison EQ? Okay, imagine this. So you're working on a song. You have multiple tracks, of course. Uh, now, on one of those tracks, you can put an EQ. That EQ has a built-in spectrum analyzer, which of course shows you the spectral curve of the signal coming from that particular track. Okay? Now, what you can also do then is connect that same EQ to another track. And now you can also see the spectral curve of that other track. So you can literally overlay two different spectral curves from track A and track B in one, uh, in one plugin. You know, they're color coded, so it's very easy to distinguish one from the other. So for example, you put an EQ on the track with the bass guitar on it. You also connect that EQ with the track with the kick drum on it. Now, with the spectrum analyzer of the EQ on the bass guitar track, you can see the spectral curve of the bass guitar as well as the spectral curve of the kick drum overlaid on top of each other in one window. Now, this of course makes it very, very easy to identify overlaying frequencies or, you know, other issues that may occur. Now, of course, it is also an EQ. So, with the spectrum analyzer in sight, with both the spectral curves on it, makes it a lot easier, of course, to make the right EQ moves. And by the way, you can make EQ moves to both the the signal on the bass track, in this example, as well as the signal on the kick drum track. So, yeah, it, it, it can really be a very useful tool to have when mixing. Okay, now let's get back to the question of the day. So, can Reaper do that? Well, there are kind of three ways we can answer this question. And the first way would be to ask ourselves the question, um, so is there in Reaper, and I'm talking about the default default version of Reaper, is there in Reaper some plugin or some function that is dedicated to doing this or something very similar to this? Now, based on my knowledge, but please, please do correct me if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm overlooking something, um, but as far as I know, the answer to that question must be, unfortunately, no. There is nothing in Reaper that can do that. Now, the second way of looking at this, the second way of answering this question, would be to ask ourselves, okay, if Reaper doesn't have any plugin or function to do this, could we at least set up Reaper in such a way that we can still kind of get the same functionality going? Well, again, I'm afraid that the answer to that question has to be no. And why not? Because for this to work, we need at least a spectrum analyzer that can show us at least two spectral curves. And Reaper does come with some spectrum analyzers, but none of which, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but none of which can make uh, multi-analyses. You know, and if that's the case, then I'm afraid, again, the answer has to be, unfortunately, no. Now, the third way of looking at this is to ask ourselves, okay, can we at least get the same results with Reaper? Now, spoiler alert, uh, the answer to this question is almost always going to be yes. I mean, Reaper is a full-featured DAW. Uh, you know, there is very, very, very little that you wouldn't be able to do with Reaper. So, of course, uh, you can get the same results. And in this case, it's even pretty obvious because in the end, we are talking about making EQ moves. And of course, you can do that with Reaper. Now, the way to do that would be to do it the good old, old-fashioned conventional way. And that is to put an EQ on the bass track, put an EQ on the kick track, uh, you know, put them side by side and just compare them like that. 
you know, and it works. I mean, we have been doing this for decades, you know, so it works. Now, the thing is, though, the whole point of this feature, so the spectral comparison EQ, is to avoid having to do that. I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with doing it like that, and as I mentioned, we've been doing this for many, many, many years. But the whole point of, uh, of this feature is to make life a little bit easier for us. Now, to be honest, um, in this case, the overall answer to the question, can Reaper do that, is unfortunately no. Reaper cannot. Now, if you still want to be able to do what you can do with the Spectral Comparison EQ within Reaper, then of course you can use third-party plugins. Now, let me first go over some paid options. So first of all, we have the M Multi Analyzer by Melda Production, which is a pretty advanced spectrum analyzer, which also has the option to show you uh, multiple uh, uh, spectral curves within one window. Now, another option would be the IQ Series Analyzer version 2 by Hoffa, which can do basically the same. And a third option would be the Freak Analyst Multi by Blue Cat Audio. Now, keep in mind that these three options are only Spectrum Analyzers, so they don't have any EQ capabilities. If you want exactly the same, or almost the same, then you might want to take a look at Neutron 3 by Isotope. Um, so Neutron 3 does have kind of the same options, as in it can compare two uh, spectral curves within one window. You can make EQ moves to both of the signals coming in. Uh, so it's almost the same options. The thing is though that this of course is part of a bigger uh, uh, package. It's part of a suite, basically. So if you're only going to use it for this, then it might be a little bit of overkill, but it does have kind of the same functionalities. Now there is one option that would cost you absolutely nothing, and that is to use Voxango's Span. Now Span is a very, very hugely popular uh, spectrum analyzer. Again, you can download it and use it for free and it does give you somewhat of an alternative to the spectral comparison EQ. Now it doesn't have any EQ uh, capabilities, any EQ functions, but it does give you the option to see multiple spectral curves in one window. Now I have to say it is a little bit complicated to set up, so it's not very user-friendly that way. But again, it does give you a pretty good alternative. And yeah, especially if you're on a budget, then this would definitely be my recommendation. So that's almost it for this video. Let me just say in closing that, you know, personally, I think that the old fashioned way of mixing with two EQs next to one another and comparing them like that, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, we have been doing it like that for many, many years. It would be nice though, if Caucus would add this feature like, a, like the Spectral Comparison EQ to a future release of Reaper, because I do think it is a very, very cool and a very, very useful feature to have. But that is just my personal opinion. I'm also very interested in your opinion. So what do you think? Do you think that Caucus should add this feature to a future release? Or do you think, you know, the old fashioned way, good enough for me, you know, I don't want all those bells and whistles. Let me know what you think, leave a comment below. Um, and for now, thanks for watching and I will talk to you very soon.